Okay, hi. A small video to show the basic workings of the 4046. Um, you can see the forums for a PDF of the schematics. Basically, it's no more than a 555 timer, the 4046 and the 4001 uh, logic I see. Currently, I have uh, no lock yellow over here is the uh, 4046 output it currently is at 2.5 kilohertz and uh, that's because there's a 10 uh, nanofarad capacitor so it limits the VCO scanning range if I now below in blue you see the 555 output. If I now lower the 555 output, you see that it gets exactly at a point of about 2.5 kilohertz where the VCO will pick up and stay locked in to the signal all the way down to its minimum. Okay, we'll put it up again. VCO is up, blue below is the 555. If it passes about 2.5 kilohertz, the VCO will let loose and you see the 555 continue to rise, but there's no lock in anymore. Okay, if I do the same here, you can see the, the LED. Currently it's locked in. Okay. All the way down. We start moving up, 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 and there it goes off because it lost the lock. Yes. So this is the basic working up until 2.5 kilohertz because of this capacitor. Okay. Now we're going to change the capacitor and increase the range. So now I've interchanged the capacitor for a lower value from 10 nanofarads to 2.2 nanofarads, and we will see that the scanning range increased from 2.5 kilohertz all the way up to about uh, 12 kilohertz. Okay, you can see the signal again, it has a lock in. And if I continue to rise the frequency, you can see that yellow stays in sync. On the right hand you see the frequency. One is yellow, two is blue. One is VCO, two is the timer. And if I continue the timer, one stays at the maximum of about 12 kilohertz. And I can still increase the timer all the way up to about uh, 25 kilohertz, but it's, it just stays unlocked. If I bring it down again, it will pick up again at around 12 kilohertz, and it will continue to follow it all the way down. So now we have a VCO that locks in from about 360, 70, 370 hertz all the way up to around 12 kilohertz. Any frequency on the input between those two will be catched by the VCO. The same happens again with our lock indicator. It stays locked, but if we passed, go past the maximum frequency, it will lose its lock signal. Okay, to replicate this, go to the forums on rwgresearch.com and go to the complete fix schematics thread and I will post there um, the schematics to do the same test.